Assistant Commissioner Felice Canstron, who's on the organizing committee for this year's Independence Events. We were talking about the flag uh, raising ceremonies throughout the country. And we actually have some more video of that. Okay. And if you can go into a little bit more depth about why the approach was taken to do it this way this year. Uh, certainly. Um, um, so, Julian, uh, the committee thought that there should be full engagement, not just at Clifford Park on Saturday night which the flag raising during the end of printing in the 49th anniversary celebration itself. They it thought that let us start and get the whole Bahamas engaged as of the 1st of July. So against that backdrop, um, it was agreed upon by representatives of the committee that the National Flag Day, which usually takes place, and there's usually an event right here in Ralston Square. Uh, however, uh, we were still faced with conditions that we moved into. So hey, because we couldn't do it one way, mean that there was a wonderful opportunity uh, to make it happen and bringing together all of our islands so not just the islands themselves we had all at all of the government agencies and even at um, his excellency the governor general's office uh, the flag was raised at the governor general's office and like you're seeing on the screen here on the family islands and throughout the length and breadth of the bahamas um and everyone i understand that's mangrove key we got yes. mangrove key bimini Bimini, North Andros, we, Andros uh, we had Exuma, Eleuthera, and they were all live feed coming to us simultaneously with the feeds throughout the Bahamas and out the, um, throughout the government agencies here in New Providence. So everyone was asked to at 9 a.m. on Friday morning, the 1st of July, to kick off the celebration to raise the national standard, the Bahamian flag, while in the background, at the end of it, the national anthem, Lift up your heads. Was played. Now, independence to me is about unity and yes. togetherness, and, and really that's so important now after the pandemic. Two years of uncertainty, yeah. and now you have some reason to celebrate. You know, Julian, there's a whole lot we have to celebrate. We've went through two very trying years. You know, with the act of it, with Dorian coming out of Dorian in the middle of Dorian, and there was the pandemic. And so the entire country had to pause and literally try to help each other. And so as we start to recover, um, showing that strength and unity, starting to heal, kicking this off in preparation to our 50th anniversary celebration, we thought, it, let's get this together. Let's get started. So this is the first, and this, this event today is the third of a series of events that just to let you know that um, uh, some of the other islands included were Mayaguana, Grand Key, yes, uh, which is amazing. Uh, There's Bimini, the flag Bimini, is really, yeah. uh, being raised in Bimini in the background. There's the officer smartly adorned and saluting our national standards. And you saw this again throughout the islands. We wanted to thank the communities who all came to bed, uh, came together to show patriotism. We still believe in ourselves as a nation after 49 years. And uh, it's when, very when we get to the ceremony today, of course, in addition to uh, hearing from the police and defense force bands, right. um, we also have the youth in the uh, all-star band and uh, the urban renewal band, both of which have had incredible experience internationally as, a as band, well as nationally. And, and Julian, you're so, you're so correct. The all-star band just recently traveled to the United States and participated in a major uh, celebration in the U.S. of A. But the urban band, the urban band has once again gotten off the ground and many of the bands throughout the military arms of the of law enforcement has been able to um, identify youngsters from the band they become feed the systems for our law enforcement agencies so out of that we have the police the defense and the Bahamas Department of Correction and to a smaller extent uh, our Bahamas Customs has a small band but I guess at some point you will see a little bit more coming together. Uh, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about how important that is in a bit. But right now, we want to actually take you to our Crystal Darling, who is out there with everyone. She's with the crowd. Uh, Crystal, how's yeah. it going out there? Good afternoon, everyone. We're here on Bay Street, where a very excited crowd has gathered to celebrate the first pre-independence beat retreat that we've had in about three years. Now, we are expected to hear much more from this very energetic crowd today. But as for now, uh, we'll go back to you, Julian. Great. Well, thank you. And um, as we were saying, what I wanted to ask you before, though, because I know you're going to have to leave soon, but um, with all the challenges we're having in different areas of society, right. 
Those bands are really, really critical, aren't they, for our youth development and protection? Julian, our youngsters need an outlet. And, you know, what was so interesting today, I was on a line at one of the fast food eatery today, and, and two buses were coming up East Street, and there were two youngsters on the line saying, hey, hey, we have to go, we, we need to get out there. And they are actually two members of the urban band coming from the inner city, leaving from Our Ladies to come here uh, this afternoon to participate. There's 127 youngsters from the inner city who are part of the urban renewal ban within the inner city of New Providence. In addition to that, um, there are 100 and almost 30 in the all-star ban, and we see a number of other bands popping up at various churches and otherwise. So they serve as a, a stopgap and to togetherness and bringing some level of interest and discipline to the youngsters. Yeah, and um, uh, we were seeing a few moments ago on your screen um, uh, some of the people who are getting ready to come here. Uh, like I said, this is one of the things that Bahamians really love. Julian, today is you know the first time the beach retreat. Bleachers have been made available uh, for persons to come to Bay Street between Charlotte and Parliament Street to sit down and watch and enjoy. And the youth bands, this is the very first time we're putting the youth bands on Bay Street doing a beat retreat. So that is powerful. All right. We're gonna go. We're gonna go back to Crystal Darling right now, who has someone with her. Crystal. Good afternoon again. I am here with Lillian Roll. How are you doing, Lillian? I'm just great. Okay, so could you talk to us about what brings you out here today? Well, what brings me out here is the excitement, knowing that this is our independence, the uh, starting of our independence, and the uh, beat retreat is exciting. Okay, and how um, um, are, were you? You a regular attendee? Did you come often before? Yes, I used to come every year other than the pandemic. And how does it feel to be out here today after years of not being able to gather in a crowd like this to celebrate independence? Oh, it's great. We are free. We are free from the COVID. We are very free. feels great to be here among my people. Okay, and who, do you have? who do you have with you here today? Well, I have my oldest daughter, Sophia Rollcamp, and my grandson, Yokanan Yo Roll. That's my last grand. Okay, thank you so much for that, Ms. Rowell. Okay, back to you, Julian. Okay, well, um, thank you for that, Crystal. And um, as we said at the top of this uh, broadcast, this is the first time since 2019 that Bead Retreat is being held in downtown Nassau. And we've got a little video package to remind you of what that was like.
Well, just refreshing your memory there, looking at that uh, friendly rivalry between the police and the Defense Force bands. And we're going to take a very quick break, and we'll have more for you live from Rawson Square right after this. Working with the guidance counselors, for instance, and working with uh, teachers and ensuring that the programs are put into the schools in preparation for the, the national event of uh, independence. The, because we were going to things new. We were going into new waters, yeah. of course. They had to, everything was had to be new. There was a new constitution, of course, and there was a, uh, then there had to be the new flag, the new national anthem, everything was new. So therefore, that was a great task for education. Independent Bahamas, 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 Bahamas. Independent Bahamas, Bahamas, for Bahamas, Bahamas. Independent Bahamas. The ZNS community page now has its own home on Channel 230. Be sure to tune into this channel to see informative notices, funeral announcements, birthday greetings, and much, much more. So watch the ZNS Community Channel today on Cable 230. of police, Whitney Bastian, who plays a crucial role in the management of this parade. Welcome. Uh, thank you, sir. Um, it's a pleasure to be here again in a different capacity. Uh, years ago, I've been performing with the police van. Um, I enjoyed it. However, we are now back to that. COVID has took, they took us away from Bay Street. Uh, thank God we're here now and everybody's performing today. What, 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 what does it take to pull this off? Oh. And we all remember you from uh, being frontliner, you know? It but. takes hours and hours of rehearsals, planning, um, precision drill, uh, arranging, um, sleepless nights. Um, I want to thank the, 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 the families of the persons who understand in this time, during this period, you really can't really, you know, uh, go home. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's mentally police bond. Uh, I could assume also defense force bond. And at the time, prison bond as well. Um, I'm very excited for the kids that are here today, though. Um, it reminds me of when I was their age. I was just speaking with Superintendent uh, Philip Rule, who was a cadet instructor at the time when I was a police cadet. And I told him that somewhere on this parade, there's another Whitney Bastiano that's performing today who's going to be in my role 20 years from now. Uh -huh. Tell us what that does for you. I mean, you know, well, I wish I could sing, but of course that, that ain't happening. But <laughs> but um, tell us what, what being um, uh, in, in the um, police force band has done for you it's, in addition to your regular duties. It's an experience that, that is almost unexplainable. I've traveled the world for free. And um, the only thing I had to do was remember the teachings of my, 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 my music teachers and the toolage of the persons that I met in the police force band um, when, I, when I came. You know, and um, we've been from Dubai, China, Korea, um, Bermuda, all over the United States, um, Cuba, and different cultures experience. For us to take Bohemian music there is, is a great feeling. It's almost like you're an ambassador. And um, I appreciate my career in the police force and the police force band. And I would wish for any one of these young kids to see that in the future they could actually do the same kind of thing. Uh, give us a little insight as to what we can see your police force band, uh, well, our police force band, what kind of performances they're going to do today? Oh, our performance is very diverse. Um, however, we would normally have about six months to to make sure that we um, do this complete performance. However, we got, you know, it was, it was, it was kind of rushed, but we're going to put on an awesome display. The crowd is going to be wild. Um, persons are looking for 
a good performance. They're going to get a bit from us and the defense as well. Great. We're going to toss it back now to Crystal Darling, who's with the crowd. Crystal. Thanks, Julian. Thank you so much. Um, Cleo Williams is a regular here out of these events. How does it feel to be back, Leo? I'm fine. It's fine. Great to be back. Great. Okay. And what's your favorite part of these events? Oh, the police band. That's my favorite. Okay. And how many years have you been coming to Beat Retreat? Oh, so many years. I can't count the years. But every year I do. Any family members joining you today? Oh, no, no family members. It's just me. Okay. And what do you um, want to say to the audience out there watching? Just be happy. Independent. Thank you so much, Cleo. Back to you, Julian. Thank you, Crystal. And, um, uh, well, uh, joining me now is uh, Force Chief Petty Officer Matthew Roll. And uh, welcome. Thank you so much. Now, I, I, I hate to rub it in because we know there's this little rivalry between your two bands, and we just heard Crystal talking to a woman say, the police is us. Well, that's okay. <laughs> there's, there's no rivalry because we work together in so much aspect of the word. We are friends. We share things. We, we work together with the music and everything, so there's no rivalry. Uh, but, of course, you would say that you're all better, right? <laughs> well, um... <laughs> We're friends. We do our best to enjoy for the people, and we want to make sure that everyone gets a part and enjoy what the Obama Defense Force has to bring, which is fun, joy, music, and a celebration for our independence. You know, our Commodore, Commodore Dr. Raymond King, loves to, to, for us to do our best wherever we go and stand for him on what is sure with the Rob of the French Force. How important um, uh, is music and bands to um, uh, the whole military effort? It is. It's there for a part that it, it keeps the temple and the man's morals up and the need for funeral ceremonies and whatever else that's, that's necessary is very important for the military to have bands. Great. Now, um, can you give us a little hint about or a little insight as to what kind of performance we're going to get from you today? Sure. We, we will be traveling to the islands and we're gonna give you peace in Andres. You're gonna yeah, maybe catch a few crabs in Andres, and then we're gonna sail over to Luthra, fly over to Luthra. Pineapple time. Gonna, pineapple time. <laughs> yeah, you know, so down, down in Nagua, where we're gonna look for, for, for some sugar, because we had Henry Nixon and, and, and Randolph Burroughs and Tara Lindo there, they're working the flats. So we can be some fishing down. Oh man, listen, you don't want to miss it. I it's going to be a fun time. Yeah, it's going to kick off very soon. Yes, um, and you, you yourself have been um, uh, a part of this effort for how long? 33 years. Wow. As a, a military person. Wow. So you're training people over and over definitely, again? Definitely. Definitely. We already have nine students as drum majors that are trained, working on the conductors now, training them. So, small transition when I. Good. Sounds like the future is going to be really bright. Sure enough. We hope it's for that side. Right. Tell people why they should join the Defense Force. The Defense Force is the place for you to be. It teaches you discipline. You're able to see the Bahamas and see the world indeed, and also protect the sovereignty of our territorial borders. Good. Yeah. What else can you tell us before we well, get started? We look forward to a wonderful independence and all the celebration and just wonder the folks to enjoy themselves, stay safe, and do their part to because this is our country. We are proud to be Bahamians. Let me ask you this too. That's important, but let me ask you this too. How do you keep yourselves together when um, if you're out here it is really, really hot. Got a little breeze where we are, but it's out there, it's really hot and you're in full uniform. It's not how, easy. how do you manage that? It's not easy, but we are trained to a certain degree, try and keep our body breathing down and everything. But we're going to push the energy today because this is for our country, our celebration, Great. our independence. Yeah, well, happy independence to you. And same to you. Happy independence, man. Great. And happy independence to all Bahamians. We're going to take a break and be back with more after this. Of all the things we have done, there isn't anything that is greater than this challenge we face in the Bahamas today to save our young people from being marginalized, from being, from being 
regarded as the villains in the society because all those young men that commit some of these heinous crimes, they, we have to recognize that their parents failed them and society failed them. We've got to rescue them because if we don't rescue them, all we have, all we have done in the last 40 years will come to naught. Independent Bahamas, 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 Independent Bahamas. Hey guys, this is your boy Landlord, and I want you guys to tune in right here on ZNS TV 13 every Sunday at 10.30 p.m. for Positive TV. It's back. You're here because your parents decided to put you in here. The groundbreaking reality series returns. You never shown before. You raise your hand me. Do you know it's still time to get it together? Uh -huh. With never before seen footage. Come punch me then. Send you punch him on me. You punch me. This ain't no playground. You're gonna know before you leave today. If you leave, the day find some space, I just teach y'all out of disrespect. It's a whole new season. Don't come here with your movie face, because I ain't buying it. Watch their transformation. It's best to be a winner. It's best to be a winner. Be in work. You are a unit. You moving as one. It's so why are you doing what you do? The Ministry of National Security and the ZNS Network presents Shock Treatment. A whole new season. Coming soon. Welcome back to Parliament Square. In uh, just a few minutes, the big show will get underway. But until then, I've got Gail Outen Monker, who is on the uh, organizing committee. Um, welcome. And happy independence. Happy independence to you. I tell you, what kind of challenges did you have in trying to put everything together this time? Um, we didn't really have much challenges. The only thing is where, you know, we, COVID, uh, we basically have a new band. So they had to relearn or learn everything. But it was a good challenge. Um, they were very receptive. And so um, it took a lot of work. Um, so we started right out of the block uh, when we started dealing with the um, band members, especially the new band members. Now, Bahamas All-Stars have made a name for themselves. They participated, if I'm correct, in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade at one point, right? Yes, we actually participated in several um, different parades. We did also Ireland. We also did the Florida Classics. We did Washington, D.C., the Cherry Blossom Parade. We also went to Dubai and we did the World Expo. And yes, the world famous Macy's Parade. So it really pays to be part of the Bombers All Stars. It does pay off. Uh, is there an age limit? Yes, we go from age 12 to 18. And um, uh, all kinds of instruments, some uh, brass, drums. We, it's a band, a full band. So we have brass, drums, um, the tubas, you have the woodwinds, we also have flags, and we have dancers. And, and how many people um, uh, do you have in the band right now? We have pr approximately right now about 125, roughly 130, but we go no less usually than 120. Wow. Yeah. And you take the full complement when you travel? For the most part, we take the full complement when we're traveling, as much as we can, as much as possible, wow. so they can have the full exposure. Wow. Wow. That must be amazing for, for these young kids, right? Eh? It is, because many of them, you know, they haven't traveled before. Um, you know, the Bahamas All-Stars, we've started in 2011, February. Uh, so we've been around for about, let's say, 10 years, going on to our 11th year. And we deal with children who um, want to be exposed into the arts. Okay, we say the arts because we do have the dance and the flags and we have all of the instruments. And for the most part, it's children who um, would like to understand how to learn to do music, read music, uh, and to move ahead and would want to go off to school also. So we try to 
basically channel them towards that in terms of how getting scholarships for them so that they can go off. And those who don't go off go into the workforce, like the police force, the fence force, and into the other work arenas. So you've really seen this change lives, I mean. Yes, uh. we have. We have another group of students getting ready to go off now um, at the end of August. So we'll be doing what we call our recruitment time. Within the first week of August, we'll do another recruitment phase to bring in those so bring in new persons um, for those that we would have lost in the 12th grade to go off to school or to go into the workforce. Now we talk about friendly rivalry. Now the police have that with the defense force and of course now you're up against the urban renewal ban. Well, we don't call it rivalry. We, um, you know, there's only one. <laughs> um, so we've brought a lot to the table. We have been the first true marching band. And, and we, we don't mind people um, imitating us, taking a little of what we would have given them. Because we also bring, we always bring new things to the table. Y'all always bring it. Yes, we always bring it on. And we love to see when people would want to imitate, take some stuff from us. All of the positive things we want them to take. Now, what kind of performances can we expect today? I know it's going to be A1, but uh, give us a little uh, idea as to what we should expect. Well, you can expect a little of everything. You're going to see the drum majors do their numbers. You're going to see the dancers do something. You can see the flags do something. And then the band in general will do a dance. Um, what we normally would do so that we can keep it all together and keep the, the audience entertained. So... We give you just enough so that you want more, but not too much so that you become bored. Okay. It yes. sounds interesting. But tell me now, what's the auditioning process? Do you have to audition? Yes. we like you to audition because we, we need to see where you're at, first of all, um, to see whether or not um, what type of work we're going to have to work with. Because also we want you to also have a, a, at least a... A uh, grade point average of two, <clears throat> a two point grade average, because if you're below that, then we have to put you in one of our programs where we can bring you up to speed. And also. So you actually offer academic assistance as well? Yes, we do. Yes, okay. we do. Because um, it's all about building the whole child. Remember, some of these children are at risk. So um, we need to have them fully involved in the program so that they can understand what it is. We do have a very strict code of conduct in which they must um, follow. If they don't, well, you know, it's one of those things. We would love to have you, but we can't have those type of challenges. Uh, well, as, before we get ready, we can see the Governor General, His Excellency Cornelius A. Smith arriving. And, uh, of course, uh, all Governors General love this kind of event yes. when we come here. Um, i got to ask you, though, 49 years of independence um, has come kind of fast, hasn't it? Oh, too quickly. Uh, what does it mean to you? What does it mean to me? It means... Oh, I just... oh. <laughs> when I heard that going on. Yeah. Um, it means... I'm, I'm proud to be a Bahamian. It means that we've come far. We've done a lot. Um, we have proven ourselves to see that as Bahamians, we can um, be world-renowned. We can be special. Great. And if you take a look at your screens right now, you can see it's all about to begin. You can see the defense and uh, police forces uh, as the Governor General uh, and uh, his lovely wife, uh, Lady Smith, make their way. Uh, Smith make their way to. Uh, they're shaking hands with uh, and meeting the uh, acting prime minister, the uh, chief justice, and others there. Um, and this extravaganza will get underway very soon. Give us a, a special story, if you can, about how you've seen one of your protégés, let's say, um, uh, how they've changed, how their life has changed. I'm sure you got several. <laughs> how I've seen their lives changed. Yeah. Um, we've had several success stories where we've had um, a lot of the kids who come in um, sort of lost, didn't know what they want to do, don't know where to go. Um, so they would come in and just would watch on the sidelines, um, not really saying they're not interested, and then you would invite them on the line. Um, and inviting them there, you'd find, too, sometimes that they, they don't have any instruments, they don't have anything to work with. Um, but once you show them that type of love and, and just basically say to them, well, look, what is it that you need? 
you take them to the side because we don't like to embarrass those kids. Um, and once we give them, show them the love in which they need, those kids are the one, those are the very kids that actually perform and do well. And as a matter of fact, we have several of those who are away today and doing extremely well. One or two have already graduated. Several are living in the United States, um, got married, and they're doing extremely well. Well, Gail Outmarker, thank you so much. We're looking forward to this fantastic display today. And I'm glad that you're keeping those standards high because the standards shouldn't shift. It should stay high. Yes. Let's take it now and watch Beat Retreat 2022. They are known to steal the show wherever they go. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your Bahamas All-Stars. Marker, these are your people here, right? Eh? Yes, it is. And, and tell me, you had a sort of big hand in this choreography that's going on there? Yes, we all. We all do have a hand in the choreography. Now, remember, Mr. J is the director of band, so he's responsible for all of the sections. And, and we will say who Mr. J is. Yonel Justillian, yes, the Yonel one and only, eh? The one and only Yonel Justillian. Um, and yes, we have the dance section. We have the flag section. You know, I'm a dancer at heart, but Mr. J, um, knowing how to do flags also, he taught me flags. And so that's how I became the director of the flags, assistant director of the flags. And tell us about the, the flag uh, choreography, if you will. Well, uh, it, you make it look easy, but obviously it's not. It's not. You have to have a lot of, um, we call, uh, what is the word I want to use? Um... <laughs> <laughs> and only because I'm on TV, I'm losing, I, 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 I'm, I'm losing it all. Which, but but when, you're, when you're working with flags, you must, you have to have coordination. Some, coordination, is, the coordination is the word I want to use. <laughs> a lot of coordination, especially with dance, too, because they have to be able to do dance moves and have coordination with those flags. Um, and the girls are doing well. So for the most part, we have a lot of new girls. They've just started. And I thought that they're doing extremely well uh, with the coordination and being able to march and learn the dances. How long did it take to put this together, this performance? Um, we started about three weeks ago, three, four weeks ago. Um, and pretty short time. Together, yeah, very so, short time. Practice. Yeah, it was very intense. So in order to get it up to speed to what we wanted to for today, we really worked hard on it with the with our um, band members. And we also have some of the band members assist with the dance routine also in putting that together. But we do a very good job as a group. Now, this must mean a lot to parents as well. Eh? 
It is. Yeah. It and, is. And, and they're, they're involved in... A we lot have a lot of parents' involvement, a lot. And without the parents, uh, we, we really won't survive. Because our parents help us with everything, even in terms of... Uh, the children, we need a lot of donations. So when we have water, uh, funds, anything to help with the uniforms, for us to get instruments. So we depend on donations for those sort of things also. Now, how can people get their child into your program? Where do they have to come? How do they contact you? We work out of the um, government high school, and we go Wednesdays and Saturdays. Wednesdays after school from 5 to 8, and then we do Saturdays from 1 to 4. And we're going to do our recruitment phase the first week of um, August. Great. Take it back now to your screens. Look there. Now for the most featured drum line anywhere in the Bahamas. Welcome, Knock Out.
Presley, elegant, sensational. Welcome to Dance Line on the Bahamas All Stars, Sweet Sensation. routine is guaranteed to make you get up out of your seat and move your feet. Let's go! performances here today and I, I gotta tell you Gail I, I know at least uh, one person who's really enjoying it and as our acting general manager Andrew Burrows <laughs> he's out there bopping to the beat behind the scenes and uh, between him and Agatha Christie I guess they're having a dance off I don't know <laughs> but really it's, it's good to see uh, and you were saying uh, just now that um, 
there's a very difficult aspect that they just carried out there. Yeah, playing and dancing is very difficult because most people, most persons who play don't dance at the same time. So learning the routine, knowing the music and being able to focus on that, dancing and playing and still keeping on time and rhythm, that is the most difficult part. And doing that all in three weeks. And doing that all in three weeks, yes. Wow. Wow. What next is on your agenda? We've got um, uh, independence. Um, uh, well, we're moving out of COVID. Uh, the airways opening up a little bit, even though there are lots of cancellations on flights. What's next on your international agenda? Or is there anything this year coming well, up? Well, we do have several things up for next year in the agenda. We've actually already signed that we've been invited to be a part of a competition, a band competition in Maryland, Florida. So we're going to go to that. Um, So we're going to go to, we, we, we have plans for 2023 for that. And also we want to go into the family of islands, um, Exuma, and help out those bands out there and do a camp with them. So we're looking into doing some camps in the family islands with the bands that they may have out there with them also. Oh, sounds great. Yes. Okay, we're going to take a little break right now. Gail, thank you so much for being here with us. And um, really, great work you all are doing with the Bahamas All-Star Band. Um, after the break, you're going to see the Urban Renewal Band. Thank you. Bahamas National Statistical Institute, formerly the Department of Statistics, is commencing the 2022 census during the months of April through June. There will be three ways for individuals to complete their questionnaires. Online, via telephone, and in person. The online census will have a questionnaire that individuals can complete from the comfort of their home. This only applies to the households who would have provided contact information during the 2021 listing exercise. Via the telephone, census administrators will be conducting the census questionnaire over the phone. And finally, the traditional in-person interviews will also be conducted. You may ask the question, but what is the census? The right answer would be the total count of people living in the country at a specified time. Every person in every dwelling unit, regardless of age and nationality, throughout the Commonwealth of the Bahamas will be counted. The count depends on you. Welcome back to Austin Square, Parliament Square, and joining me now is Sergeant 808, Humphrey Bain. Yes, sir. Welcome yeah, to the you. show. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me, and I want to say a happy pre-independence uh, Independence Day to the entire Bahamas and all of those that are visiting our shores. Happy Independence. Well, we just saw the Bahamas All-Stars, and up next, the Urban Renewal Marching Band, yes. and of course, the police have a very, very crucial role in that, play a crucial role in their development and organization. Tell us a little bit about that program. Well, uh, going back to the earlier days of the first Urban Renewal Program, of course, uh, all of the iterations, the police have been a strategic part of the Urban Renewal Band. Uh, the concept behind that is to ensure that we are uh, Get, uh, 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 acting as a stop yeah, for those at risk uh, in the various inner city communities. Um, uh, our band director and um, the leader and uh, overall in charge of urban renewal, he has a philosophy. It is easier or it is better to maintain a, a, a or, or create a, a, a strong child as opposed to trying to repair a broken uh, adult, uh, male or female, at some point. So it is better to get them now in this current stage that they're in, whatever issues they're having, to try to work that out. And music has been one of those things that is able to help them. And, and you've seen the success in the individual children? I have. I have. I have. There have been many success, uh, success stories from Urban Renault. Uh, many of our former members would have been uh, able to go off and receive tertiary education uh, and are now back as productive citizens, which, which is wonderful to see in itself, but it's not enough. We, we, we have to keep going and keep uh, making that happen. Yeah, great. Um, so tell us about some of the performances for today. Of course, um, after the, um, uh, well, your, your 
police force band yes will come up a little later yes and um <laughs> what kind of uh performances can we expect today okay well the the kids uh, today they're doing uh basically um a repertoire of bohemian music uh at the same time they're going to do uh three formations uh, mm -hmm. the first would be urb which is the the identity of the band the urban renewal band um, the next set of uh, formations will be four rings to represent forward, onward, and upward together. Um, uh, an indication of how proud we are as members of this band to be um, Bahamians and uh, to show our pride by displaying the words, the infamous words of the motto. Uh, but, but like I said, each circle representing one part of it, forward, onward, upward, and together. Uh, when you talk about independence to these young people, what's their, what are their thoughts? Well, I'll tell you what. A lot of them, um, I, I wouldn't say are, are not interested, but it is something that they may not be able to understand the significance of at this time but i i think with time as they get a bit older uh with a bit more um lessons in social services or um, social, uh, social studies and perhaps uh us as adults have been they are saying uh independence over the years being able to intimate to them the importance of it and the reasons behind it i i think um we will see more but one or two are getting it you're seeing a spark here and there but so there's a lot of bahamian pride some people just sort of say oh we're not as proud as we but but we are very proud eh? we are and, and then yeah. when you get um uh, sort of the international examples of success bahamians doing big things in sports academics other professions yes um uh, there's a lot of reason to be proud. There, 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 there certainly is, especially this year. We have any number of young persons again uh, in, in the likes of uh, Jazz Chisholm, uh, DeAndre Aiden. Um, you know, we, we, we have um, um, Clay. As Thompson, well. yeah. yeah. Uh, who, who set everybody <laughs> afire with that. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, right. Uh, and also, um, you can't forget our... Our female counterparts who are also doing wonderful change in the WNDA. Um, you know, it is inspirational for not only the young men but also the young ladies to be able to see successful behemoths uh, and there are any number of other success stories of behemoths who are making strides abroad. Um, indeed, um, personal growth, personal uh, reward and achievements, but at the same time, giving the country something to be proud about. And this is this is um, where we want to have these kids in another 10 years or so. Yeah, well, let's take a closer listen to their performance. Sure.
Humphrey Bain, great, wonderful performances here, and uh, we saw some very interesting formations. Yes. Uh, you want to tell us a little bit more about them? I know you alluded to it yes, at the beginning, uh, but yes, not a problem. Uh, the first formation you would have seen would have been URB, which is the band's um, identification, the Urban Renewal Band. Each letter signifies part of that Urban Renewal Band. Mm -hmm. The second formation would have been four, four circles, each one representing a part of the model, forward, onward, upward, together. And uh, the third and uh, final formation would have been uh, the numbers four and nine, signifying or representing the 49th anniversary of the independence of the Bahamas. Um, and it's only up from here. Let's see what 50 brings us. Who knows? <laughs> it's on the way. Uh, this is really a great way to be in touch with the kids and to, yes. to keep them, uh, save them, really. Eh? Yes, yes. Uh, and you see a lot of talent. Um, that's an understatement. Uh, there are many kids who had it not been for this opportunity and journey in music, um, they have gone undiscovered. But there are many more. There are many more diamonds in the rough that we maybe just need to, you know, dig a bit deeper for. But um, our kids, by and large, nationally, in United States, without any fear of, of rebuttals from anyone, that I think we have per capita, bar none, the most talented group of young persons on this planet. And I just hope that many more would realize that and, um, you know, we can give them the opportunity to show us that. And that's, that's one of my, one of my um, daily um, uh, uh, personal goals, to find that diamond in the rough, that extra child out there, that extra young person who may be in need of some guidance. Um, uh, it seems like you've really found your calling. Uh, <laughs> Sergeant 808 Humphrey Bay, thank you so much for being here with thank us. You. And we'll be back with more right after this from Austin Square. Okay, happy Independence Promise. Yes, Independent Bahamas, 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 Independent Bahamas, 
And of all the things we have done, there isn't anything that is greater than this challenge we face in the Bahamas today to save our young people from being marginalized, from being, from being regarded as the villains in the society. Because all those young men that commit some of these heinous crimes, they, we have to recognize that their parents failed them and society failed them. We've got to rescue them. Welcome back. Uh, you saw our youth in action earlier, and now we're getting ready for the big boys. Um, the defense and police bands uh, marching in, in, in unison. And with me right now is Commander Arjun Delavo. Welcome to the broadcast. Thank you very much. It's uh, so good to be here. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, this is the part where people really, really get excited now. Seeing the young people perform is awesome, and now we're getting to see um, uh, our uniformed officers do their thing. Yes. Um, let me first, um, first say, on behalf of the Commander Defense Force, Dr. Raymond King, uh, we join in with Bahamians everywhere by echoing the settlements. We are proud to be Bahamian. And as our motto with states, we are here to guard our heritage. Everything and all things that is Bahamian, that is what the Defense Force does. From Inagua in the south to Grand Baham in the north, this is what we do. 100,000 square miles of water over no 17 feet. major islands. No easy A mammoth feet. task. We are here to guard our heritage and all things Bahamian. And um, we're about to get ready for your special performance. What we can we expect in that performance in a few moments? Well, we've been locked down for two and a half years because of COVID. It's time, time to let it out now, huh? Yes. And so it's time to loose all that is Bahamian. We're going to be taking you from Bimini to Eleuthera, to Andras, to Cat Island. We're going to be honoring some of our greatest Bahamian artists, KB, Rochi, d -Mac, Elon Moxie. Uh, the BDF band is going to put on a display honoring these behemoth artists. That's great. Because, you know, we do have some exceptional musical artists. We're going to uh, take you to the actual main stage right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been locked down. We've been locked down. We've been locked down for two years. But the defense force and the air commander, Dr. King, says, Loose me. What they say? Oh, my God.
Lose for sure, huh? Well, uh, like I said to you, uh, we're going to be doing a tour, a bohemian tour of the islands and what it means to be bohemian, celebrating um, our bohemian songs and our bohemian writers, you know, and this is what it's all about. As Ladies we and gentlemen, come on, give it up for your love, Bobby. 
We have been going now because you know what? They got some men taking under the waves. And, the um, waves are crushed on the southern coast. Obviously, a lot of um, uh, dedication, commitment, and responsibility in what the Defense Force does. Uh, yes. Um, every Marine, every officer must be invested in the big picture, guarding our heritage, understanding what it is that we are protecting and guarding, not just the Bahamian waters, not just our airspace, not just our land, but you and me, our children, our children's children, everything what it is to be Bahamian. Tell us about the kind of training involved in becoming a Defense Force officer. Well, we are so multifaceted, multi-talented, um, from marine training to land base and, and, and physical training and, and navigation, rules of the road, um, combat training. Um, we have technical in terms of communications. We have doctors, lawyers, carpenters, electricians. Um, we are so well-versed in so many other disciplines. Uh, to make everything work. Great. Well, let's uh, toss it back to Bay Street itself. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute.
and gentlemen, we have a competition live and direct for Panahabal Fest. This is where we take you to. Boom, bang, Avalua. Oh, yeah. Here we go, here we go. gentlemen we are just enjoying the islands of Bahama somebody make some noise is there anyone here from Grand Bahama anyone here from Abaco I know somebody from the neutral yes 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 how about Exuma anybody here from Dan Island the red and scrap capital of the world and we are in the land of our Prime Minister to show you how it's done with a hardcore rank and scrape. Scott Master wrote, Scott Man, listen to me. Oh yeah, they test it now. Take it away, you. Thank you. 
the movie that's touched down in Dead Island. Put your hands together, put your hands together for your Royal Rambles Defense Force. Bang! Do you hear that? Do you hear that? The body? Oh, Lord, the body ready to sail now. Come on, we can catch them. We can catch them right now. In two seconds. Believe it or not, we're now heading down to South. We have picked up several tourists and they say they really want to go. They won't go look for. Shh. What are they looking for? I can't hear you. What are they looking for? Looking for sugar. Oh my goodness, sweetness down south. Great, take it away, take it away, take it away, take it away. Take it away. Outstanding performance here, and of course, led by the one and only the real showman, Chief MC Rose. You got it, he's on the else, I tell you. Um, great program, but when you look at this program, you had some surprises for us. Yes, yes. Well, you know, that's what we're all about. Uh, you know, we want to make sure that whenever we show up, we show out, uh -huh. and we keep you on the edge of your seat. You know, but we wanted to honor. All things being, and specifically these great artists, these great demon artists that keeps our music, our demon music live. Well, obviously, the Defense Force is one of the great successes of the Bahamas as an independent nation. Yes. And um, as, as you as we go forward and you build more, what are, what are your deeper goals? Well, we are growing. We're growing in terms of our size. The Commander Defense Force has articulated our strategy, our decentralization strategy to occupy the North, the South, and of course Central. This requires an insertion of mega manpower. Uh, not only manpower, but skills. We need Bahamian all over the country to come and enlist to be a part of this great organization that is evolving and changing. Uh, uh, uh uh, what do you have to do if you want to become a RBDF officer? Well, if you are a young Bahamian young boy or girl, you simply need to fill out an application, indicate um, what you would like to serve as a Marine and officer. It only takes five BJCs. You come in, you unless you take our exams, we put you through some things, and, and that's it. Great. But well, we're going to take a little break right now, and we'll be back with more from Rawson and Parliament Squares. Stay with us. Your parents, them over there watching your, you know, gang bang. It's back. You're here because your parents decided to put you in here. The groundbreaking reality series returns. You never shown before. You raise hand at me. Do you know it's still time to get it together? Uh -huh. With never before seen footage. Come punch me then. Send you punch him on me. You punch me. Move. 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 This ain't no playground. You're gonna know before you leave today. If you leave, the day find some space, I can teach y'all out of disrespect. It's a whole new season. Don't come here with your movie face, because I ain't buying it. Watch their transformation. It's best to be a winner. It's best to be a winner. Be your boy. You are a unit. You more than as one. So why you doing what you do? The Ministry of National Security and the ZNS Network presents Shark Treatment. A whole new season. Coming soon. Well, if you're just joining us, you've missed the All-Star Bahamas Band, the Urban Renewal Band, and the Royal Bahamas Defense Force Band. 
But you're lucky because up next is the Royal Bahamas Police Force Band. And joining me again, ASP Whitney Bastien. Yes. Uh, the public is lucky. Um, we're going to be on next, and we're going to give them a fascinating show. Yeah. Now, we're traveling around the islands. A lot of people missing and uh, lamenting the fact that you're not there anymore. Yes, yes, but... um, <laughs> You got to stop at some point, huh? Yes, we have a very uh, vast, uh, deep bench. And um, I have Mr. Curry Hill, Mr. Kevin Major, Ladies who and can take over from me at any time. I still perform at, you know, so if, if I'm aggressive too. What kind, what, what, what kind of special performances can we expect in a few moments? Oh, if you thought you were entertained before, you're going to have the best right now. All right? So you, you're taking it up a little higher. We don't take it up a notch. Right, well, let's hear what they got to play today. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the Royal Bahamas Police Force Band. <laughs>
is a special rendition by one of our members in ASP, Bastian. This is what we do when we travel on the island. The song is called Traveling Through the Island. Check it out. Playing through the streets, my name is music. North to south, east to west. All the islands including Relief by traveling to the islands Play some sweet Bahamian music North to south, east to west All the islands including ASP uh, Whitney uh, Bastian, uh, they're doing their thing and they're doing it well. Well, it's, it's just the beginning. We still have a full 20 minutes, and it's just a part of the show. We have some surprises that are going to come after this. The Bohemian public are going to be off their seats in a little bit. Really? So this, you're taking it to a different level altogether? Another level. You haven't seen anything yet. Wow. And of course, it'll be in the finale. You'll have a combined band, huh? Yes. But before the finale, we're going to put our nice show before the finale. It's going to be finale before we the finale. Have a finale before, before the finale. Yes. And I think this is it coming up now. Is this part of it? Inspector Jaffa Jackson <laughs> will come to you and do a tribute in honor of Joseph Spence. Joseph Spence is one of our great Bahamian musicians. And the song he'll play is Brown Skin Girl. Give it up for him. Joseph Spence hails from Andres, and he specializes in the guitar and singing. Make some noise! Are you truly proud to be 
the hangman? Yes. You yes. sure? Yes. Inspector Jackson. Remember Joe Spence and really the genius that he was. Yes. Um, however, we don't actually uh, remember the person performing now. And we're, we're going to give you later some international artists, Bohemian artists, who are going to be here live performing with us. Like I said, the show's not over yet. Oh, wow. So a lot to wait yeah. for it, look yeah. forward to. Good. Yeah. So tell us a little bit more about the kind of uh, preparation for this. All right. So every July, every uh, Christmas, we have two retreats. Yeah. Yes. Um, so we, we start performance um, rehearsals probably around January. However, because of COVID, we couldn't because um, the restrictions or whatever. Um, this year, uh, we got the information late. However, we still, we still put on a good show. Um, but in the past, we've been starting our performances, our rehearsals from uh, January. Um, and you can hear um, some of the similarities. We have the same theme, traveling through the islands. Um, so basically, we, we, we're thinking along the lines of um, promoting our bohemian music, bohemian culture. Every time it's Independence Time, um, we try to bring bring it home. Um, you can hear them starting up again. Um, I don't want you to miss anything because, like I say, don't don't think this is it. We have some more things to offer. All right. Yeah. Well, let's take it back to the parade.
passing through. Now what you gonna do? I'm on the double. Hey, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm waiting on something. I'm shaking on something. I'm dancing on something. Waiting on something. Moving on something. Let's go. Cause this is the Bahamas time. 49 and looking fine. Time to wear the fly. Cause this is the Bahamas time. Keep the top right down. Man, the jimmy coming out. Time to. Everybody move. Let's go. We going. Hey. The man in the boat. Passing through. Now watch up. The man in the boat. Passing. Yes. Yes. The man in the boat. Passing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mind the fly. Let's go. Woo. Oh yeah.
be boss yet. I mean, y'all really enlisted some new recruits today, huh? Yes, I promise you surprises, prizes and surprises. Uh, the police force bond has performed with every major artist in this country and even some major artists in the United States internationally. And um, they're friends with police bond, some honorary police bond members. That's great, man. And uh, just a good way to promote uh, unity. Yes. Um, yes. In, in the time when we need it a lot. Yes. Um, so we're getting ready to that end of the uh, ceremony now. Yes, we're going into the finale where we're going to uh, join with the Royal Bombers Defense Force Band. Let's let it rip. Yes. Finale comes. I want you to tell us about um, how you felt the overall performance. I think uh, the Bohemian people enjoyed the performances of all the bands, uh, from the U bands to the Defense Force band to our band. And I think um, after a few years of not coming to a retreat, I think this is a great treat for them. Um, it's no first, second, third, or you know, fourth place, even though we know, but well, you know. Everybody in the back of their mind. Uh, this, was, this was an important thing to do today. Yeah. Yes, it is. It is. Yeah. It is important. And um, we can't wait until the next retreat. We can't wait until uh, Christmas retreat. We're going to encourage everybody to be safe. Um, still, you know, wear your mask and sanitize and all the rest of that good stuff. Because um, we don't want to get back to that situation again. Absolutely. Now we actually going to go to Crystal Darling so she can, because she's in the mix with all the people. Let's see what they have to say, Crystal. Well, thank you so much for that, Julian. And we're back here on D Street. Uh, we're here with Pastor Margo. Margo, I know you're all the way from Andres. So tell us about what you thought about the Defense Force Band and the crabs. How did you feel when you saw them come out with the crabs? Oh, I felt wonderful. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Pastor Margo, came from all the way from um, Congo Town, South Andres. I enjoyed the uh, Defense Force Band and uh, with those crabs when they came out. <laughs> I was excited. And I also saw you get up when the second bishop came and you were on your feet. How did you feel about that? Oh, I felt wonderful because I visited um, Pastor, um, the singing Bishop Church about three times um, when I came into Nassau. So I really, after his performance, I had to run away and inhale him, you know, give him a good hail. So I really enjoyed that Bahamas. Okay. We having a lovely time out here on Rawson Square. We enjoying the, the police band performance, the Defense Force um, band performance, and we enjoying KB, and we enjoying DMAC, and all of the other um, performance. All of them we enjoy in the Bahamas. So I want to say um, hello to my son, Quentin, in Toronto, Canada. Quentin, mommy love you. And... But your mommy love you. Mommy taking this opportunity to say hello to you. And I love you and my son, um, Darren, on Katki. Darren and Marvet, I say hello to you all. We enjoy, I, your mommy enjoying this in Rawson Square, Nassau, Bahamas. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that, Pastor Margo. Back to you, Julian. Thanks, uh, uh, Crystal. But, uh, I'll, I, you know, to see the sheer number of people that came out today, I mean, this is a good time for families to come out and enjoy it. Uh, we haven't had that opportunity for a long time, and it's also a good way to get in the independent spirit. Yeah, this is a good start. We have a long way to go. Um, I can't wait until the 50th anniversary um, because we're going to have a lot of other things uh, planned uh, for the for, for, for the human audience. Um, but I also want to say um, to my son who's in Toronto, I'm going to take the lead from the pastor. My son who's in Toronto, I'm going to say hi to Lazario Bastian, my daughter's in Florida, Brittany Bastian, I'm going to say hi. Um, maybe next year they're going to be able to visit as well to uh, see the police band, the Tesla's band, or the other band. Well, that would be great. Now, now, we got uh, another little interview with Crystal Darling. Crystal. Thanks again, Julian. We are here with Celine. Celine, can you tell us about how you feel coming here today? I, I love the performances of all the bands, and I'm a, like a very big fan of the police force band, so I'm in my wedding, and every time they perform, 
storm, I try and come and watch them. <laughs> and so could you tell us what you think of, of all the performances here collectively? We know they're wrapping up right now. Just briefly tell us what you thought of everything. I just love to see our Bahamian people put on an amazing display of their talents, and it just makes me proud to be Bahamian. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, Celine. Back to you, Julie. Thanks, Crystal. That was a gem. You do weddings. Yes, yes. <laughs> weddings, we, we perform everywhere. Um, uh, just a matter of writing the commission of the requesting the band. Uh, great. Well, let's go back to the band for the finale here. Yes. And the march off.
wonderful beat retreat. Good yes. to be back on and, and Bay Street and in uh, Parliament and Rosslyn Squares again. Your thoughts of the overall performance? Well, we heard the cheers and screams at the end just now after the national anthem. I think the Bahamian people are pleased. I think all the bands did an awesome job. And I think um, we can look forward to f year 50. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to be even bigger and better. And there were special moments of pride. I felt it as yes, you know, yes. we got through, particularly um, at the end. Um, yeah. I'd like to say um, a, a pleasant good afternoon to the persons that are watching from at home, uh, especially past director, Mr. Ronald Campbell. Um, yes. he, is, he is giving some pointers. That I mean, we're still getting great at heart. He's doing his job. Um, also, all of the all of past members who are actually watching from home, um, hope you enjoyed our performance. Great. Now, we're going to soon see the march off. Huh? Um, but I, let me ask you this, though, Assistant Superintendent Whitney Bastian. Um, independence, a key part of that is our safety, personal security and national safety and security. Um, as part of law enforcement, is there any special message you'd like to tell the Bahamian people today um, about safety? Yes. First of all, um, when you go out during, your, during the festivities, uh, we can't just be safe. Also, go in welded areas. Um, at the end of the day, we want everybody to come home safely, and we want to all enjoy this independence celebration. Absolutely. Any final comments? Um, happy Independence. I hope to see you guys here next year. Yeah, we thank you for joining us, and happy Independence to you, and of course to all of you. And of course, you're going to leave you with the march off right there. Um, let you enjoy that for the final moments of this broadcast. <laughs>